Hey guys, welcome back to another video. When it comes to the most searched topics online include celebrities and unsolved mysteries. However, never have these two topics been searched together. In this video, however, we take a look at mysterious cases involving well-known people. Stay tuned and watch as we look at some mind-boggling celebrity mysteries that haven't been solved to this very day. Elizabeth Short the Black Dahlia was once the greatest Hollywood mystery, but the infamy of the case has diminished slightly in recent years due to some new developments. But before we talk about that, here's a summary of the story. In 1947, the body of 22-year-old Elizabeth Short was found drained of blood and cleaved into in a parking lot in Los Angeles. Until her identity was known, she was nicknamed Black Dahlia as a play on a then-current movie, The Blue Dahlia. The reason for her death and the perpetrator remain unknown through her tale is certainly one of the most discussed of all Hollywood mysteries, movies, books, scintillating top 10 lists, and other media formats have told her story, and it will certainly go down in the annals of history as one of the most deeply disturbed unsolving murders. The breakthrough in the case is the recent statements of Buzz Williams, the son of one of the now-dead police officers who investigated the case. Mr. Williams has said that Leslie Dillon, a bellhop and one-time mortician's assistant, murdered Short at a request of a Hollywood mogul obsessed with her. Dylan even contacted the police anonymously at the time of the crimes to make inquiries as to their progress. We will most likely never solve this mystery, but there is no denying that the passage of time does not make it any less fascinating. Sean Flynn the son of actor Errol Flynn and actress Lil Demita Sean Finn made attempts at a number of different cases, including actor and musician. However, it was as a photojournalist that he finally seemed to truly find success. During the Vietnam War, Flynn gained a reputation for going to great lengths, including extremely dangerous ones, to get the photo he wanted. While in Cambodia in 1970, Flynn and Dana Stone, another photojournalist with a similar reputation, were apparently captured by Viet Cong forces. After that, what happened to them remains a mystery. Flynn's mother paid a vast amount of money in efforts to locate him, but this was not to be. Sean was eventually declared dead in 1984. Richie Edwards in 1998, Manic Street Preachers' This Is My Truth, Tell Me Yours was one of the most popular albums in the UK. After a string of hits barely cracking into the top 10, the Welsh band found their single If You Tolerate This, Then Your Children Will Be Next at the top of the charts. Guitarist Richie Edwards never saw this achievement. Three years prior, the star made headlines as the subject of one of the most infamous disappearances in rock and roll history. According to The Independent, Edwards went missing on February 1, 1995, and his body was never found, as the outlet recounts the guitarist chuck out of his hotel only to vanish. Edwards was widely thought to have died by suicide at the age of 27, joining the unfortunately grim 27 club along with beloved musicians like Jim Morrison, Jimi Hendrix, Kurt Cobain, and Amy Winehouse. As the Independent reports, there has never been any definitive proof that Richie died by suicide or even died at all. More recently, a book written with the full cooperation of Richie's sister, which Ron traces, searching for the truth about Richie Manic, alleges that the guitarist staged his own death. Per Wales Online, Richie had a fascination with disappearing and may have started a new life in Israel. Joe Pitchler Joe Pitchler was best known for his work on films like Varsity Blues and during that weird era of the 90s where dog films were ultra-hot, the Beethoven franchise, and Chill Out 2, he'd been working hard since getting his start in commercials at the age of six. But unfortunately, the child star disappeared before he could take on any adult roles. He was just 18 years old when he went missing in his Washington state hometown in 2006. According to 10 Tampa Bay, his mother told local papers that she pushed the former child to star to move back to Washington in 2002, away from the hustle and bustle of Hollywood. She wanted him to have some normalcy in his life, but was reportedly not happy about leaving Los Angeles. Four years later, according to Charlie Project, he disappeared after a phone call with a friend. Suspicions were raised when his apartment was found unlocked and the lights were left on. After a week-long search, 10 Tampa Bay reports that his car, a silver 2005 Toyota Corolla, was uncovered near a narrow waterway along with a note asking for his belongings to go to his younger brother. Presumably, Pitchler's disappearance was a suicide. Dallas Debbie what 80s cool boy didn't see or at least hear of Debbie Does Dallas, the 1978 film by Jim Buckley. It was allotted as one of the truly great blue movies from what is now known as the Golden Age from 1969 to 1984. 
To this day, the picture remains the number one best-known adult film in history. But what most people don't know is that Debbie disappeared without a trace. Furthermore, no one even knows who Debbie actually was. The actress playing the title role went by the stage name Bambi Woods. It was common in those days for adult stars to keep their real identity secret as much of the industry operated outside of the law and there was considerable influence from the mafia. Woods took up adult acting in order to pay debt she owed. Debbie Does Dallas is the only adult film she starred in. For two years, Woods made appearances in public and lived a fairly extravagant and exotic life amongst the jet set of New York clubs, Studio 54, and Plato's Retreat. And then just like that, she vanished. Lurid rumors arose that she had died a brutal death of an overdose. A 2005 documentary, Debbie Does Dallas Uncovered, claimed to have found and interviewed a real Bambi Woods, alive and well in Iowa, keeping her past safely and secretly in the past. But then in 2007, a woman claiming to be Woods disputed via email virtually every claim in the documentary except that of wanting to maintain her private life. Was one of these women in the real Bambi Woods? Or did Debbie die doing drugs? We don't know. Well, guys, that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching.